a verified leaker announced on Twitter that the Pokemon anime would release information on the new Generation 9 Pokemon anime today. Yet come 4.55 AM, there was a recap episode followed by an Ash vs. Leon trailer, and that's it. No Generation 9 anime was announced. Was this just the leaker's mistake, or perhaps is there a bigger issue going on behind the scenes? Here's why it's the latter, and why the Pokemon anime is in trouble. You see, if we take a look at all of the anime's previous generational debut dates, they almost all start either in September, October, or November, excluding the Indigo League. Now that we're in mid-October, time is certainly running out for the Generation 9 Pokemon anime to hit a November release date, especially if there hasn't even been an announcement on it. And to add, Olam Studios, the studio behind the production of the Pokemon anime, has already confirmed having production issues with Journeys. Take a look at this translation from the Olam animation director, Kurikazu Chiaki. To summarize, the studio does not have enough people to support a timely release of the Journeys episodes. Hence, you probably have noticed the ridiculous abundance of recap episodes, fillers, and breaks during the Masters Tournament arc. From a sheer number standpoint, the studio dropped from 216 full-time staffers in 2018 to 204 in March of 2022, which may not seem too significant until you consider the studio previously contracted 117 personnel back in 2018, which has also likely dropped since and due to the pandemic. With less people available to work on the Pokemon anime, it's no wonder Journeys is having production issues. So what does that mean for the Pokemon Generation 9 anime? Well, if anything, it certainly doesn't bode well. Either the Pokemon anime will delay its release of the Gen 9 anime, or worse, what if we don't get a Generation 9 anime? It's not too far-fetched to entertain this thought either, because what happened to the Pokemon movies? If we take a look at the release date of every single Pokemon movie, each was released consistently in mid-July, excluding the most recent movie, Secrets of the Jungle, which released on Christmas Day of 2020. The release date of that movie was impacted certainly due to the pandemic, extending the usual wait time for a Pokemon movie from 1 year to 1.5 years. So in this case, production issues led to delaying the release of the Pokemon movie. Well, we're about to hit the 2 year mark since then, and we still don't have have any information on the next Pokemon movie. Has the Pokemon company cancelled the production of the movies? Perhaps, at least for the time being? Especially if the studio can barely handle the production of its TV series in its current moment. So what if the same unfortunate decision comes to the Pokemon anime? Episodes have already been delayed, so who's to say the anime might encounter a temporary or permanent hiatus, just like the movies? But hey, like me, you might still be desperately rationalizing why the anime is here to stay. It's the breadwinner of the Pokemon company, right? Well, no. Much of the revenue for the company comes from merchandise. And another thought, what if the leaker was just trolling or flat out wrong? Potentially, but the leaker has a proven track record, leaking details of various Journeys episodes days before airing, especially during the Masters Tournament arc. So then, what's the conclusion? What's the future of the Pokemon anime, and where's the Generation 9 anime? No one knows, and unfortunately, all of these recent occurrences, including the pandemic, and personnel shortages are certainly having an impact on the production and future of the Pokemon anime. Also, Olam Studio has been producing other shows such as Komi-san and Summertime Rendering. Sure, Olam has had a history of producing other anime alongside Pokemon, but with the recent personnel shortage, it's certainly a bigger load to carry. Let's hope this is all paranoia and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.